What's up everybody, Low Tech back here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at Sega Saturn emulation on Nintendo Switch on Android 10. Today we're going to be using the uh, Yaba Sanshiro 2 Pro. It is a uh, paid app on the uh, Google Play Store. It's about $5.60. Worth the buy, for sure. First time messing around with it. I've heard about it, but it's the first time I've actually gone and used it and out of the box with just really no tweaks, excellent performance. So definitely recommend that you uh, go and get that, especially if you're on the Switch. Uh, the RetroArch option does not run as well as this. Uh, maybe with tweaks it does, but if you want ease of use and out of the box performance, this is the way to go. So really quick, uh, the settings, by default it comes on the OpenGL uh, back end, I left it there, and frame skip was enabled by default. However, if it's not, I recommend that you enable it. Other than that, no other settings have been changed. So before we get into it, real quick, I would just like to ask if you enjoy my videos and you want to keep seeing videos like this, subscribe, hit the like button. I do appreciate it, and let's get into it.
All right, well, Sega Saturn runs well on Nintendo Switch on Android 10. One out of the 13 games didn't run that well. There was a little bit of stutter here and there. Overall, great playable experience. So I put a little check mark on your list of consoles to emulate on the Nintendo Switch. Sega Saturn definitely can happen. And with that, I'm going to call it a wrap. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more low-tech videos.